I'm Danny702 and I take you on adventures in Central Florida and beyond. Today we are back at Disney Springs for another beautiful day. We've been spending a lot of time at Disney Springs lately. There's just so much to do in this one little area. But when I say little area, it's actually pretty gigantic, especially coming from Disneyland. And downtown Disney is probably a third, maybe even a fourth of the size of Disney Springs. There's food and drinks, sweets, shopping, and even sky flying attractions. I was hoping to get on the balloon today, but it's all tied up. Looks like there is no flights taking place today. It's incredibly a beautiful out. Hardly any clouds in the sky, but it is just a little windy. And almost every time that I am here, there is something new to see, and we're doing one of those today. Welcome to M&M's Orlando. Now this store just opened up a few weeks ago. I have yet to go inside. I love how there is no line to get inside, but there is a line to get the pictures with the M&M's. Because <laughs> the popular characters are right here to greet you. You can take a selfie with him. You got a picture too? All right, we'll take one with yours and then one with mine. Eddie, cheese. Oh, this one can't be bothered. I have not been in the Orlando store, but I have definitely gone into the Las Vegas store multiple times. That location has a four story building and this one I believe is just gonna be one. Right, we just walked in the front doors and you get a blast of chocolate. <laughs> right away I'm seeing the Disney M&M collab. Oh, they have t-shirts with little M&Ms but then little Mickeys as well. Oh, the fabric isn't too thick too. That's a, that would be a good one for Florida. Different tumblers, coffee mugs. I do really like these. They're Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse containers. Oh, the M&Ms have little Disney prints on them. There's Minnie, and over here there's Mickey. A real true hidden Mickey. If you get a big bag full of regular M&Ms and just throw a couple of these guys in there, see if your friends can spot it. So the, all the character names are just their colors, right? So there's red, green, yellow, blue. Something for everyone, for mom, dad, brother, sister, Baby, this time. pillow not only has the M&M's and the Mickey Mouse on it, but it also says Disney Springs on it, letting you know what location you're at. I love Disney Springs, or I am an M Disney Springs. I'm pretty okay. I I'm Disney Springs. <laughs> Which one is it? This kind of threw me off though. Doesn't this kind of look like Mike Wazowski rather than the green M&M? Yeah, I'm totally seeing Mike Wazowski in that little green silhouette. Who's your favorite color? I'm gonna say yellow. I love how each of them have their own personality though. Blue kind of looks like a sly dog, like a pretty confident character. Ah, see, and then it kind of has their little traits, their personalities on these bags. Green is fabulous, sassy, independent, tempting, captivating, and green. <laughs> Her little tag says, you may call me Queen Bee. And then as far as yellow goes, Yellow is friendly, sweet, lovable, innocent, delightful, and of course yellow. His tagline says, my brain has too many tabs open. I can relate to that. Me. Skeptical, scared, nervous, irresistible, paranoid. <laughs> Please don't make me do so. Oh, poor orange over here. See, maybe you can match your personality traits and then you can see which M&M you are most like. I'm not even that big of a chocolate fan. But it smells so good in here. What are these? These say stack. So you can choose your colors, grab one of these and stack them up and gift it to your favorite Eminem fan. I'm loving all the picture spots around the store. I barely even walked through. Here's another cool one. It's like a, I think it's a heart. And then in the middle, there's an M there. That's pretty cool. A whole bunch of different size keychains. Yeah, big, medium, small. Or you can get a magnet with the whole gang on it. I do like the subtleness of some of the merchandise. For instance, these limited pins, limited edition pins. You've got garden friends, so there's a little snail and a little ladybug and a bee. Oh, this one's cool. I do like the summer vibes. Ooh, the mermaid is so cute. Also something for the Christmas fanatics and the Halloween fanatics. And speaking of Christmas, They've got the ornaments. They have regular ornaments, but then they also have the Christmas style ornaments. Oh, little orange got wrapped up in the Christmas lights. <laughs> He's so funny. Kind of reminds me of the Fonz. Hey, <laughs> They're all reacting to the string a little different. This one's got hung up by his leg. 
and then red is just kind of casually swinging. Now these KHAs are claiming that the M&Ms were the first candy in space in 1981. Oh yeah, over here it's saying it on the wall too. One of the astronauts must have taken an M&M with them. Seriously, if you like M&Ms, you have to come into these stores. You can get basically M&M anything. Oh, I like this. This is fun. It's an M&M dispenser, but you can separate the colors. <laughs> That's clever. For someone like me that uh, usually, I mean, I do that with my clothes. There's shoelaces, lanyards, <laughs> hair ties, hair bands, hair wraps. My goodness, and then even more apparel. I'm a sock person. These kind of socks though. I love to wear these fluffy and cozy soft socks all the time. Even when it's hot out, I tend to wear these kind of socks around the house. <laughs> I wonder what this is gonna be. It says mirror, mirror, coming soon. I wonder if it'll dress us up and turn us into an M&M. Even more pillows, different styles of pillows in the middle. We're heading towards the candy wall. But we're not quite there yet. Oh, I just spotted something I'm pretty familiar with. Okay, even though I don't gamble, I'm from Vegas. Okay, well wait, I'm from Los Angeles, but I spent about six years in Las Vegas prior to coming here about a year and a half ago. So this is definitely something I'm familiar with. It's a candy dispenser. Oh, that's too cute. Dang. <laughs> I wonder how many M&Ms are on this one sweater. Into some pajama area, maybe some boxers. Ooh, there's slippers, there's a sleeping mask. This kind of reminds me of a clown though, I don't know. Yeah, something very clown-like about these, this style. And these slippers are pretty amazing. Don't forget, stuff for your kitchen. Plates and cups and bowls, measuring cups, measuring spoons, baking cups for cupcakes, a random shoe. <laughs> Interesting. Fans, because don't forget you're in Florida and it's coming soon. That humidity is just around the corner. There is an area where you can design your own M&Ms. Your M&Ms with icons, photos, or text. I have seen somebody do this online and it was really cool. He actually put like a full on picture on a tiny m and I think you have to have a really, really clear picture to put on there. But that is such a fun idea, especially for like a wedding or, you know, a special occasion. Check out that one at the top. A handheld dispenser. I don't know. It looks like, it looks like Doc Woot. <laughs> There's a little green Statue of Liberty. We saw the slot machines. This is kind of a classic but it says Eminem Orlando on it and this one's really fun looks like they're on a roller coaster I think when you put his arm down the Eminem would come out and come through the bottom of his saxophone case this one's multitasking chilling on the couch watching TV and talking on the phone but on top of personalizing your M&Ms, you can get different cases for them. Here are the different sizes and then pricing. You can get them in just a small bag. It's a little under $20. There's different cup sizes and tube sizes. You can get those little stacks. Oh, there's also little hearts. And then at the very top here, there is an occasion bottle in gift tube is what it says. It looks like a champagne bottle. Oh, I like these. These look like they came from wrappers. It's a whole purse made out of them. A little handbag. Oh, that's so cool. These little bottles are buy three and get one for free. You can basically feature your favorite flavor or favorite character. Like these are the plain with red. Over here, there's blue. What is blue? Blue. Oh, blue is almond. And uh, let's see, we've got yellow. Oh, I thought yellow was peanut, but this is yellow. Oh, toffee peanut. Oh, that actually sounds really good. Ooh, fudge brownie for brown. That makes perfect sense. And here is the candy wall. Probably the coolest thing inside of the store. This is so intense. I wonder how many colors there are and how many flavors there are. There's basically every shade of color, like all those different kinds of blues and greens and yellows and pinks. There's quite a few whites even to choose from. Here on this end, I believe, are the different flavors. Let's go check that out. From the candy wall, you can grab it by cup size. They are pre-priced, or you can get a bag and it's by pound. 
that I just asked how many colors and how many flavors. And she said she thinks about 12 different flavors and probably around 22 different colors. So there's dark chocolate peanut, white chocolate peanut. Oh man, you guys know that I love white chocolate. <laughs> Regular peanut butter. There's almond. There's that toffee peanut. Sugar cookie. Uh-oh, I might have to try that. White chocolate cheesecake. Okay, we're trying that. Fudge brownie. There's coffee nut pretzel. We got dark chocolate mint. Crispy caramel. I think these are regular flavors of random Skittles, but I mean, Skittles are good too. Oh, they're just all regular white chocolate, but it's just different colors. So the unicorn mix has some really pretty colors. Romantic, like Valentine's Day. Mermaid, spring, ooh, this would be perfect for Easter. Mickey and Minnie, <laughs> oh, that's adorable. A small handful. I hope that there is no minimum because this is a really light bag. Hopefully it won't cost us too much. There's different kinds of flavors in here. I'm wondering how I'm gonna tell which flavor is which. I guess when I eat it, I'll be able to tell, hopefully. This might be my favorite thing in here, the luggage lock. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm about to check out, and of course there's a bunch of goodies in the grab and go aisle, tempting you at the last minute. And these are crazy tempting. I have never seen these before. They're milk chocolate bars with the M&Ms inside of it. Okay, so we have our M&Ms, our little handful of M&Ms. My little handful came out to be 204. And she did tell me that there is no minimum when it comes to buying per pound. She said that one time she saw somebody that had three M&Ms in their bag. <laughs> That's something to keep in mind if you come here, if you just want to sample a couple of the different flavors, make sure you grab the bag that says per pound rather than the cups, because the cups are already a set price no matter how much you fill that one up. I do love the little bag they give you. I feel like it's kind of like a free gift. <laughs> I have no idea what flavor is what. I'm pretty sure I had a coffee or toffee, which is which pretty good. It does taste like coffee or toffee. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Coffee. Maybe I'm eating the same one over and over. <laughs> white chocolate cookie. Oh yeah. Definitely white chocolate cookie. That was bomb. Mmm. Mmm. I think the cheesecake is my favorite. I'm pretty sure the pink ones are the cheesecake. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> That's the best one. Mmm. Honestly, just like mixing them all up and putting them all in at the same time, that's the move. I just noticed underneath the logo, it states all the locations. So there's one in New York, there's one in Las Vegas, Orlando, London, and Shanghai. It's about that time. I just got the message that Eddie has just left work, so he's on his way home. So I'm gonna head on out too. Thanks so much for joining me today. Until next time, guys, keep smiling and I love you. Peace.